In this video, I will demonstrate how to take items that would normally need to be cut out of a worksheet with scissors and put them into an Explain Everything project. For example, I have some cause and effect matching cards that I want my students to be able to move around on the iPad. Instead of making a paper copy and having the students cut it out, I can crop it ahead of time so they can do this on the iPad. So I have the matching worksheet open in Safari on the iPad. I'm going to take a screenshot of this page. I will then go to Explain Everything. I have a new Explain Everything file open. I want to save this right away, so I'm going to click on the folder with the arrow going down, and I'm going to save this as Cause and Effect Matching Cards. I'm going to set it up ahead of time for my students, so they have the categories for Cause and Effect. Next, I want to be able to bring in the matching cards. I'm going to click on the icon underneath the A. It looks like a piece of paper with a plus, and I'm going to choose existing photo or video. Now, because I took a screenshot of it, I should have this image saved in my camera roll of the matching cards. So I'm going to click here, and then all I need to do is use the cropping tool so I can start bringing in the matching cards into my Explain Everything file. I'm going to click done and then done again and then I can bring this card down here. I'm going to click on that little piece of paper with the plus again, choose existing photo. I'm pulling up my screenshot again so I can grab my second card. I'm going to crop this, click done and done and then I'm just going to repeat this process until I have all of my cards cropped in. So I'm waiting for that screenshot again. There it is. I'm going to use the cropping tool and crop this card. Hit done and done. So I'm just going to continue this process until I have all of my cards in. So when my students get this file, they'll be able to move the cards around and be able to put the cause and the effect next to it to practice their cause and effect activity. Now if I want to prep this for my students, I want to make sure that I have all of my cards down here and mixed up so when they get the file at the beginning that they won't already have all the answers in place. So I'm going to hit the house. Yes, I want to save my changes. I'm going to hit save. Yes, I want to replace it because I brought new cards in and they're ready for my students to be able to practice. So I can hit yes. Now one quick tip is once my students have practiced and they practice their matching, the student could write their name on the slide when they're done. This would be great if you have more than one student using the same iPad for this activity. So once they write their name on the slide, they can then take a screenshot of their activity and then they can set it up for the next student. So I took a screenshot of my activity and then I'm going to click the house button. I'm going to click no, I don't want to save these changes. So then it's going to be set up for the next student. The great thing about taking a screenshot of this is that the teacher could re refer to the screenshot in the camera roll to review the student's practice and use it as a guide for reteaching if necessary. So I can take a look at the student work in the camera roll and see if I need to do any reteaching or have further dialogue with my student. Thank you for watching and have a great day.